The first game jitters are gone now, Dick. Both of these teams are looking to settle into their comfort zone in this second round matchup between the Yale Bulldogs and the LSU Tigers. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Tigers are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested enough, Brad. They still have to do the following things. Number one, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Next, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. And lastly, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Inside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Doesn't go. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Off the rim and no good. Inside, number three handles the pass. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. In and out. He'll regroup the offense. Fed the low block. The center handles the feed. And he'll kick it back outside. Number 22 receives the ball. He buries the shot. Shows patience waiting for the reset. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. You see, that's what happens when you go for the steal. You end up with a necessary personal foul. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He strokes it. He nails the shot. Let's get a replay, baby. Pack it inside. Pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. Puts it up. Way off target. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Tries for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. As the fans continue to chant. Well, ultimately, the goal is to win. The crowd feels as though they are a big part of it, too. He keeps the dribble as they reset. He makes a nice shot fake. For two, they still don't score. They're working around the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He throws it up from downtown. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. Spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. Perfectly executed. him in the paint but went elsewhere for the bucket doesn't go number 22 is fired up and ready to go well you know Brad these student athletes play with fire and emotion you rarely see that in the pros he up fakes over plays on the pass and he didn't get the steal oh he's humiliated poor job defensively
Number three receives the pass. Goes up for two. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft is bounded, fading away, and passing the block. Number 15. Whistle blown. Basket's good and one. That's concentration, baby. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. He fires it up. It's good. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. Thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Sinks it. Let's see if it looks as good on the replay. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. The skip pass is picked off. Tries for two. He's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They work the perimeter from three-point range. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Looking for a good shot. Nice hops. Look at that spacing. Shots there if he wants it. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. For two, and he missed. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. Sinks the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. We'll get another look at it. move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. On the dribble, gives it up. Stolen away. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from left to the circle. Off the rim and no good. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action.
The post flashes up high if he wants it. Gave it up. Launches away. Way off target. Working it around the perimeter. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Trying to draw some contact. Let's slow this one down on a replay. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes it off and from left of the circle, off the rim and no good. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There's the fake. Here's a double team. Launches the three. Yale have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Jumped in front to take it away. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Two thousand five, two thousand six marked quite an amazing year for both the men's and the women's basketball teams at LSU. Both teams went to the Final Four, which is really amazing for the school. I think it says a lot about the athletic department having both programs go that deep in the postseason is remarkable. That doesn't happen that often. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. There's a very tight lid on that rim for him right now, Dick. That's right, Brad. Nothing seems to be dropping. Shoots from outside. Way off target. The zone is shutting down this offense almost entirely. All the gaps are covered, and guys are talking out there. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Looking for a good shot. He tries to knock down the three. The shot won't fall. Incredibly, the zone seems to be tightening. It's getting tighter because the offense can't hit from the outside. They're begging them to shoot from out there. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? That's basic. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. 
Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick down on the sidelines. The losing team is starting to get a bit anxious. Their coaches can sense that, and they're telling their team to just relax. Could it be the bright lights that has this team second-guessing so far tonight, Brad? All right, thanks, Aaron. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. Awesome. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Tries for two, and off the mark. For two, in and out. They still don't score. Gave it up. Moving it around the perimeter. From downtown, he gets the shot to fall. Now they work it around the perimeter. He tries the three. Off the rim and no good. He launches the bomb. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Hey, a few more of those, he may land up on a bench. Goes up for two. He seems determined to take the tough shot. But they're not falling, and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. High post screen, going to use it. He's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. On the dribble, gives it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He wants the crowd to get pumped up. Dick, he is feeling it. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's <laughs> pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? A severe offensive drop for them right now, Dick. And it doesn't seem to be turning around as of yet, Brad. Controlling the ball. Stolen ball. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm trying to three-quarter position. Try and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks, Brad. Well, they need some buckets, and they need them in a hurry. Tries for two. They're having a rough time getting them to drop, Brad. They should take it to the basket and get some easy hoops. He unloads a three. Not a whole lot of luck getting the baskets to fall lately, Dick. They definitely aren't getting the bounces right now. Gave it up from three-point territory. That's good. There's a high screen. Fakes the shot. From the baseline. He's money with the shot. For 
number two. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Way off target. There's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He made great use of the screen to put up an easy score. He shoots from long range. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. On the dribble, gives it up, fires away. Gets it to go. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always work. He gets the rejection. Great screen set up, but the shot will go. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. If you're going for the steal, you better get it. If not, this is exactly what happens. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. Stop and pop. Off the rim and no good. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Turn around jumper. Can't get the shot to go. Going to move it around the perimeter. Let's it fly. No luck finding the basket the last few trips down court, Dick. What they need are some easy layups or a couple of nice putbacks. These teams are looking at the second half to decide the outcome of this ball game. LSU carelessly gave away a lot of possessions by turning the ball over. Their coach's staff must be living right now. The amount of extra opportunities they're giving away is just absurd. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. 
Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. In the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He puts it up. He hits the shot. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Tries for two. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The Bulldogs have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Entry pass in the paint. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. High post flashes for the ball handler. He drains the bucket. The center gets the pass. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. And one. Are you kidding me? Hey, he threw that down with authority, baby. Make a statement, young man. Make a statement. He goes to the line for the first time. It. That's an eight zip run. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on a defensive player. And clean for two. The layup is good. Roll that replay, ready, boys. Watch out! Five second ball approaching. Jumps in, and he scores despite the hack. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us here. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. I think she's right about that, Richie. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have a great post play. you got a chance really to win. The Bulldogs are trailing by six. Looking for a good shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here's a flash from the high post. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. <laughs> it 
Hickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He looks for the bomb. Rims out. The power forward gets the ball. Gave it up. The shooting guard with the ball. Looking for a good shot. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. For the deuce. And off the mark. He takes the three. They're going to find a way to get some easy buckets to get their confidence back, Brad. Absolutely. They got to get it going here. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Too physical. And he's going to pick up the foul. And, oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what. He's disgusted, but so is his coach. Gives it up, and he'll kick it back outside. The shooting guard takes the feed. He puts up the tray. Great job of running the defender into the screen for a nice J. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Another turnover. And we're not talking about the turnovers either. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That's seven on answer. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball man. That's essential when you play out there and you front it. That's a 9 nothing run. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. There's a double team waiting there. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. The power forward takes the pass. Arm and foul. Post flashes for the opportunity. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Yale are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. They work the perimeter. Got the high pick. I wish somebody would knock down a jumper. And that guy had 1,400 on his board. And look at him running out there like a wacko. Oh, man. Look at that wacko. <laughs> the 
They'll work it around the arc. He fires from long range. Rims out. On the outside. Up and inside. Got some room. Jumped in front to take it away. Basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when he needed him, baby. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. They're off into transition. Fires it down. Moving it around the perimeter. And they come with a double team to stop it. And a momentary look from three-point land. He lets it go. Way off target. They work it around the perimeter. And now they'll bring it up. Knocks it down. Picks off the lazy pass. He should have an easy bucket here, Brad. Easy one. He's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Gave it up. Kicks it out. 10 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Takes away the pass. With a deep pass. For two. Tickles a twine. That's an 8 0 run. third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, this is what people wanted. A close championship game. The action and intensity has really picked up down here on the sidelines, and everyone wants to see a great finish. It's stolen. for two. Can't get the shot to go. Look out. Defender is smacked by that screen. Steals the pass. On the dribble. Gives it up. Working it around the perimeter. Taken away. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression.
I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. He makes the second. Makes the third shot. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. At this point in the game, clock management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win. I guarantee it. He attempts the trifecta. Gets it to fall. Up and inside. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I tell you what, he's trying to do that. Blocked. Oh my goodness, that was unbelievable, baby. On the outside, way out on top, controlling the ball. Now they work it around the perimeter, looking for a good shot on the outside. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Step out on that screener. LSU are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Good job defensively. They just won't give them any open. Pressure on the basketball. Tries for two. The Tigers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Nice high post screen. Looking for a good shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He's got some room. He shoots from the top of the key. He's money with a shot. because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. 
with the jump hook. I didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Nick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. And he'll kick it back outside. He rejects it. And the ball goes out of play. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. They're definitely having some fun out there. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. Basic. Picked off. For two. Rims out. He intercepts it. Working it around the perimeter. They move it into the front court. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. There takes the shot out of the air. And they get the turnover. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Tries for two. Basket falls despite the contact. So time out on the floor, and that gives us a break to go courtside. Here's Aaron. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Aaron's right about that, What kind of energy are we looking at after that time out there? That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm game deck. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Yet another foul. Brad, I think he'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back to the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And the clock stopped with a foul. Nobody likes this part of the game, but the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. And yet another foul. And the clock stopped with a foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Number 22 goes to the line for the first time. Sinks it. Hits that one. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. They work it around the perimeter. Launches away. 
How many bricks have we seen? Will somebody make a jump shot, please? Well, Nick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, I tell you what this game grab if you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Yale graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.